Well, we are experimenting with aluminum and the thermite this the morning. The thermite. Ooh. It's not, not termites with an H. Thermite. Thermite. Here's Chief Scientist Carl Nelson and Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback with this week's Imagine It. Hi again, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback. We're at the Imagination Station along with Carl Nelson. Today, kind of a biggie here. Uh, the way you've been talking about this one, there's yep. a lot of uh, energy within this experiment dealing with thermite today. Thermite. Yes, the thermite reaction. It's a chemical reaction that happens between iron oxide, which is rust on this sphere, and the aluminum on this sphere. Okay, I just coated it with aluminum foil. Aluminum is very, rea very reactive. If we can combine these two together with a lot of pressure, okay. <laughs> That's just from that tiny little bit of aluminum foil and some of the rust on this iron sphere. It's okay. amazing. That's the thermite reaction. That's a micro scale version. We want to step it up a bit. So in this little container here, a potting container, I've got a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum powder. What we're going to do is we're going to ignite that using this giant sparkler. Okay. Okay. In between these two containers is a little piece of cardboard that's going to try to contain the molten iron that is gonna drip out of this into this plate of sand. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, now it takes a little bit of time to ignite the sparkler. Once I do, I'm gonna drop it in. We're gonna step aside. Sure. All right. So the camera will be on this. We'll be just off camera watching with you, but uh, All right. Here we go. safety comes first. All right. Okay. I'm gonna drop that in and All right. go ahead and step this All right. Side. Is what you see dripping out of that is molten iron, over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And down inside, down inside the sand, I don't think we're going to try to pull that out. That is a giant puddle of molten iron. It's, it is very, very bright. Yeah, it's very tough to look at. Now, that looks a lot like uh, you see in video of a factory that makes iron for companies and makes, uh, you know, bars and whatnot. Same idea, liquid exactly, iron? Exactly. In fact, railroad companies will use this reaction to weld two train tracks together on site. Okay. They'll do a sort of thing like this and instead of dropping into a plate of sand, the molten iron will drop into a form which then they can cut off and shape so you have a continuous rail train, wow. rail track. Wow. And one thing the viewers can't see or feel right now, this is giving off some pretty good heat, it's like very, a campfire. Very, very hot. Wow, it's still liquid. Liquid iron right inside there. Is that, I think I'm probably melting my tongs as well. That is amazing. You get an idea. The thermite reaction is a tremendously exothermic reaction. It gives off a lot of energy. And it happens so fast. It happens very fast. Faster than I thought once we I dropped mean, that sparkler inside. Look at, look at the, uh, the potting container. I think the pot even container. cracked as well because of the tremendous heat. Wow, amazing. Thermite. Thermite. Nasty stuff. It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Carl Nelson, thank you so much. Great experiment. Very bright and also still nice and hot here. From the Imagination Station, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback, and that was Imagine It.